Welcome to Barton County Community College and BartOnline.org. I'm Wynn Butler, the director of Barton's Distance Education Program. You're watching our online question forum called Just Ask Cassie. The topic today is financial aid, freeze dates for federal Pell Grants. Hi, I'm Cassie, the answer person. Cassie is the answer person by email and phone. Fire off an email to get help. Let's start out by asking, what is a freeze date? Sounds to me like something from, uh, say, the Iceman in a Batman movie. <laughs> the amount of federal Pell Grant you are eligible for is determined by the number of hours and weeks in which you are enrolled. Our online classes are available in seven sessions each year. We have easy enrollment and drop process, so student enrollments are sometimes fluid. You can add and drop at almost any time. Due to the ease of drop ads, a date must be established within the semester to determine what enrollment information to use to calculate your federal Pell Grant. Yes, I, I understand the federal government keeps a strict eye and count on financial aid data. We have to be good stewards of government funds. So for fall 2010, the financial aid freeze date is September 2, 2010. This means that you need to complete all of the required paperwork and enroll in all of your classes by September 2, 2010. I'm not sure I understand the freeze date for fall. We have classes in session 1, 2, and 3. Session 1 and 3 are 9-week classes, and 2 is 17-week. What if I want to take classes in all three? Great questions. The key is to enroll early. Even though the Session 3 class does not start until October, you need to be enrolled before September for all of your fall classes. Those terms are open for enrollment now, so sign up for all sessions of fall at the same time. This will ensure that your financial aid is properly calculated. You want to be sure that all of your classes are considered when your federal Pell Grant is calculated for the term. Okay, but let's say I only want to take a Session 3 class. Do I have to enroll as early as September to get financial aid? If you only enroll in eCourse Bard Online Session 3 classes, you will have a later freeze date of November 4, 2010. The later freeze date was established solely for those students who are enrolled in Session 3 classes and were not enrolled in Session 1 or 2. Hmm, so let me get this straight. The late freeze date never applies to session one or two. You got it, Wynn. What about for spring 2011? I noticed that you can already enroll for spring 2011 classes at BartOnline.org. Do we have freeze dates for next year? Spring freeze dates are February 3rd, 2011 and the summer date is June 6, 2011. Are there late dates for students taking only the third session in spring or starting late in the summer? Of course students taking only session 3 courses during the spring of 2011 have a freeze date of May 2nd. Late starting summer students have until July 8th. So to wrap up, the real secret to not getting caught up in a paper crunch is to enroll early and process the necessary paperwork as soon as possible. For sure, and stay in touch with the financial aid staff. All the numbers and email links you need are at the website, bartonline.org. Alright, so I get all of my paperwork and enrollments done early. Now I want to know the bottom line. Show me the money. The first financial aid payout for fall 2010 term is September 17, 2010. Your federal Pell Grant will be paid after the drop date of your classes has passed. Therefore, if you are enrolled in an e-course for Bard Online Session 1 and Session 3, you will be paid half of your Pell Grant for Session 1 and the other half later for Session 3 classes. The half and half payment is because of the late drop for Session 3. Makes sense. The earliest payout dates for future terms are September 17th for Fall 2010, February 18th for Spring 2011, and June 16th for Summer 2011. Excellent! 
Any other bits of advice? A word of caution. Your classes and enrollment are frozen as of the financial aid freeze date. If you drop classes or never attend or participate in class prior to receiving your federal Pell Grant, the grant amount will be adjusted to exclude any withdrawals or no-shows. As well, your federal Pell Grant calculation will only be based on the classes you were enrolled in as of the financial aid freeze date. So if you add classes later, your grant amount will not be increased. If you have any questions about the financial aid freeze dates or any other questions regarding financial aid in general, please feel free to contact the financial aid office by email. It's financialaid at bartonccc.edu or by calling the toll free number 1 866 257 2574. Well, that wraps up this episode of Just Ask Cassie. Time to trot off to cyberspace. Bye. Bye. Time to check on the military history class. Have a great day.